while we'll wait for the others, we might as well just go through this. It sounds like someone else is in. <laughs> well, old, old men at 9 p.m., so, yeah. Uh, the cricket. Yeah. Say no more. Boring. It's a World Cup final. All right, so. Boring. I'm recording this, so um, just go through this for about 10 minutes. So we started on chapter one. I'm sharing my screen. Do I need to make it bigger? And, uh, and I'd like you to bring your dice of decision two module rules out, so help me. Because we've got to check as we go to make sure there's no change in the uh, the outcomes. It's quite some of the some of the events are quite different. So click on share screen, everybody. Yes. Yes. Okay. So great war outcomes. The Russians steadily advance, and we had a minus one off the die roll. Then we had. Japan didn't join the war. We had mandate. I think we rolled a five initially anyway, so perhaps we're only supposed to roll one dice. But in any event, what that meant was those regions go to the US, which really, when you look it up, means that they go to China. And in the case of Tsingtao, it goes to Hopei. So... Essentially, what that means is Tsingtao itself, where I got the map here, often that can start the game as a Japanese dependent from the 21 demands. And same with Fu Chao. In the old version of Dice the Decision, this was pretty nasty because you got a garrison unit placed there, but they're nowadays in the new. Um, one Axis Empires Ultimate Edition that's not the case anymore it's just if there's an overlay there you take it off but it's still things can change between the wars as we get political movements uh, in Japan tonight Turkish entry they joined the Central Powers uh, we had the Italians join the Central Powers and so the Great War outcome we had a total Entente victory and what that meant was that we never there was no Versailles Treaty so we never had to roll on the Versailles Treaty table because the checklist for uh, Great War outcome doesn't include rolling on the Versailles Treaty so that's that was a pretty big deal, right? So already we've got something quite odd. Then we, uh, you go to the checklist. So once you've run those first few tables, and we'll do this tonight again, when we do the second chapter, you on the checklist, you go to the total Entente victory, and then it tells you to roll through a number of things. So the first wash, one was the Russian Empire, and Russell, <coughs> he rolled a, a one on that, which meant, and then he rolled a six on the Russian Civil War, minus one gave us communist Russia, which changes the leadership to the default. So no big deal, but Russian Federation was a really big deal because it meant... Belarusa, Caucasus, and the Ukraine all Ukraine. yeah, Ukraine all came out. So if I bring the map up, you can probably see the TK map now. That meant yeah. we got this and this, and there was an overlay, uh, which Scott in the United States sent me the. Um, the overlays and the latest vessel. 
So I put that overlay on and we've got this Caucasus uh, place. And <clears throat> that in the old rules, which is why uh, I need to, um, Andrew's help tonight looking at, as we go through the tables to check, because um, the soft copy rules I'll be putting up, they're the original and they're quite different. In the original, Russian Federation was horrible because when Russia goes to war, they get about mm, ten, eight or ten infantry steps uh, immediately put on the delay chart. But in the old rules, they used to lose most of those for these federations. Nowadays, you don't. So that's change. There'll be some card changes. We'll take care of that. But clearly, so instead of... Um, Instead of demanding, um, instead of demanding the Turkish frontier, yeah, yeah, you demand the Caucasus, and that, instead of demanding Eastern Poland, you demand Crimea or Donbass or whatever. <clears throat> All right, I'll go back. Is that big enough? I'll make it bigger for you, and then go up a little bit. Yes, please. Oh, hold on. I'm just going, hold on, I'll just, Russian yeah, I'm just, uh, here we are, Russian independence table, um, rolled a one on that, uh, that's the what we'd missed that table, but during the week I rolled the one uh, on Discord, and there it is, there's the number one, which meant that um, Scott and Andrew and Joe, who are playing the Allies, uh, got Russian gain. And we'll get to that in a minute, but basically they get to pick to get some things back they lost in the uh, Russian Civil War. Then we rolled on the new Central Europe table and we got Croatia and Serbia. And on the map, I put the overlays here as well. So this Serbia's in here, Croatia's up here, um, and we got, as well as that, we got um, an it, Italy, it, Albania. Yeah, Italy, Albania. <clears throat> then um, we went to the German Revolution table um, and rolled a three, which gave us a plus one on the Civil War. We rolled a five, which became a six, and we got Imperial Germany. And that turns out to be a really big deal because tonight, when during the, the 30s, I think it's impossible unless we get a minus three Dara modifier to get the Nazi party. At the moment, if it stays as Imperial Germany, what it'll mean is, um, some of you haven't played the game before, like Andrew and I, but when you, when you first go to war, you get some units that go to the um, delay box uh, and an aircraft and some submarines. And if it stays Imperial Germany, we won't get the aircraft, we'll get um, the high seas fleet instead. And, uh, and some mechanised units. Right, and then we went to, let's see if I can get that on the screen for you. Western Allied Might. Stop here. Yep. Western Allied Might table, it was an either or in that four. Yes. Got both up. Yes, I put them both up uh, for the video stream. So, because some people weren't attending. So, the Allies got to choose um, Andrew and Scott and Joe. Oh, they, they got to choose a British one, and I highlighted a couple of good ones. And then they. Um, or could choose a 
French one, and I believe you went with French Syria, is that correct? You end up getting Cyrenaica later on another table, but uh, so that French Syria again. That's interesting in this version. There's a thing now with dice a decision. There is now Axis partisans. Before there was only in the normal game. There's only. Wallies, Western Allies, partisans, or communist partisans, but now in in certain countries that have a uh, subjugated dependent or a subjugated region, um, they can be susceptible. And Syria, in this occasion, has gone um, pro-French, but not everyone's happy. So. It's a subjugated status. We have the party of God. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Hamas. Yeah. <laughs> um, Turkey was defeated. Um, we applied pro axis, so they uh, haven't put it on the vassal map, but on the big map, they've got a plus one uh, axis influence on them. And sick man of Europe was the Greek Anatolia, uh, Greek uh, Russian Caucasus lands didn't apply, uh, and British site. And when I looked up the new modern rules for 70.7, it was also British Cyprus which I think they already start with anyway, but just in case they didn't. I'm just checking that, 70.7. 70 70.7. 70 in the rules. Oh, it's not, it's not even 70. It's now called six, probably 69. It's all the Turkish ones. Yeah, it's 69 point seven. I can't hear a noise. Oh, good. I five for hundred and seventy-eight. Gee, they're not doing very well. Um, can you help me find the table for sixty-eight, Sick Man of Europe, please? It's in in the book sixty-eight, which is all the Turkish stuff. Sixty-eight points. Oh, you found it. Sixty-eight point seven. British Cyprus, French Hattay, Greek Western Anatolia, Russian Caucasus. So we did all that. So that means Caucasus, Caucasus, Caucasus didn't, didn't go. So yeah. Didn't no. Correct. Ah. Uh, now, in the. As published, Axis Empire's Days of Decision 2 module rules. There is a 68.7. Because what's on the screen here, um, folks, is the only soft copy I have is the original Dice of Decision 1. But we're playing Dice of Decision 2, so that's. So that's why I'm checking every time we get to a table. But un unfortunately, I can't, I don't have a soft copy of Days of Decision 2. Nevertheless, <clears throat> um, then, funny enough, the Allies were just so lucky, which is typical of Andrew, Scott, and Joe, in my opinion, because even though they didn't pick British Cyrenaica, they got it in the Italy defeated table. And Greeks got Rhodes, and f the um, Italians went fascist. And 
the biggest deal there, we didn't talk about it on the day, but I want to talk about it tonight, was at the moment we've got an imperial Germany. which is not a fascist government, okay? They're, they're totalitarian, but while, if it stays that way, uh, there's certain rules that we'll have to study up on with respect to Germany and Italy uh, relationships because fascists and Imperial Germany totalitarian don't knit hand and glove like Nazis and fascists. So that was interesting. Uh, then finally, uh, the table that we had missed was Russian gain, and you, Scott and Andrew, you could choose. Any of these, Andrew's got the book in his hand. Um, it says to look up all the 61.5s. I'll just check whether that's true, but it's the Russian stuff. So it's actually 60, not, so instead of 61, it'll be 60 in your book. Right. And, and I thought, had a revolution. Can you speak up, Andrew? I can't quite hear you. Oh, you said 60.5. I just said 60. The chapter 60. Can you get a little bit closer to the microphone, please, Andrew? Okay. Have to do. I'm hearing you fine. <laughs> I can hear. No, everyone else is. A, everyone's a bit louder than you are. That's all. It's okay. The recording will pick it up. So I thought you'd probably want Crimea and Donbass, but it's up to you guys. Russian Siberia is. Let's see what that is. Russian Siberia. So, Mark. Mm hmm. What are we doing? We're applying one of those. Um, no. You get two. You're two. See, so up. 1.3. I'm sharing my screen, aren't you? See up the top and 1.3 here? Yes. Now, previously, Belarusia was went independent, and so did Crimea and Donbass. They went with the Ukraines. Donbass is this part here. So these are the borders. So Donbass is exactly the, the region that is in the news at the moment. So all the way from Rostov, so Kharkov's in there. Yes, I would have thought Belarusia okay. would be a nice one to have back. So you don't want Siberia or Kazakhstan or well, I, I Far East. Crimea's the advantage that you get the naval base, and Crimea, of course, is a victory hex. Uh, yeah, Russian gain is sixty point two five in your rule book. Yeah. 
This event cannot be applied if Ukraine has any marker in the TK ceded land box, which it does. Because it's got Ukraine and Donbass. Yeah. And Crimea. Oh, sorry, that's what I meant. What's the advantage of having a naval base for us then? Not a naval power. Um, well, you've played the game before. Minsk is a victory hex, and so, so is Rostov, and so is Sevastopol. Oh, Sevastopol. Yes. Minsk is in Belarusia. Yes. Maybe there's a Caucasus one. Was there one of... Uh, no. There wasn't. I don't know whether you can show the map to see what they lose if, if they don't have the Far East or Siberia or whatever. Oh, I can. Um, a little bit. I'm just not sure what what's what's involved there. Uh, map overlay for so Siberia was what number? Siberia is sixty point forty two. So all that means is all of Siberia, including Central Asia, if part of Siberia, is ceded to Russia. So it's already, I believe, at this state, it's already part of Russia. So there's no benefit for them doing that. But there could have been, all these Russian states can break away, but they just didn't, that's all. So what, what would you like to think on that, gentlemen? And I'll just put a... A proviso on it for now. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, happy with that. It's just that Siberia was a white Russian stronghold. So, so Donbash and Siberia. Let me just get Siberia. Uh, and Belarus. Uh, Belarus. Uh, what number is that, Andrew? 61, 12, 12. So 6012. Um, 61, 12. Oh, no, in the new rules it'll be 60. I, I got the new rules today. So <clears throat> don't take too much notice of the numbers because this one here is uh, the old version. This one's updated. All right, so that's good. So now we go to, to Between the Wars. And the first thing we do is roll on the political climate table. Uh, if someone's got access to a die, roll mod a die roller on Vassal, they could do that for me. Yeah, I've got it up on, if I'm sharing my screen. Yes. Yeah. So now you want the handout called Game Creation Table Chapter Two. Very good. Um, <clears throat> would someone like to roll a dice in Discord? You'll probably you'll have to do it in a different channel than the one Joe set up here. You'll hear it clanging across the table. Here we go. It's a five. Now, I think we have to go immediately to that. So I'll bring up the independent movement table, and which was table number. 2.1. Uh, here, independent movement table. I'll, I'll bring it up and put it on the screen. 
and the rest of the table will cut the bottom of it off. There it is. Andrew can probably see it for real in his copy. I'm rolling another dice. There's no die roll modifier. A three. So, so uh, we went through that last week. So you are the proxy. There's two ways of paying uh, dice a decision. One is you just have the proxy going round the the table with a conch, and that person makes a decision, and then we bid for sides. We're not doing that way. We're doing uh, the first option. We've already got our sides. So this is concerns you, so you are the allies, so you have to do this. French loss. So now we have, have to, I'll bring up 34.14. Just, just a, a suggestion, mm -hmm. remove any doubt for things. Um, can somebody roll the dice and then we pull up the tape? That way there's no contemplation that somebody may have picked what they want. Oh, okay. I would never do that for anyway. you. Uh, no, yeah, I'm yeah. not suggesting it is, but I'm just saying remove the temptation. Okay. Uh, 34, I'm looking up French. So it's probably not 34, it'll be 30, French are all 33s, aren't they? In your book? Uh, well, my rule is 34. Oh, 34.14, okay. 34.1, okay, here it is, French loss. I'll bring it up so everyone else can see it. Apply. The faction applying this bit must do one of the following. That's the Rhineland. So that would be I'll say it, so Metz. Germany still got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. No, no. Here's the here's the overlay. Because if none of the above can be applied, then the fraction applying the event must do one of the following. Algeria, Indochina, whatever. No. So you can't do that one? Yep, and you can't do that because it's already Deutschland. Deutschland. I believe so, unless I'm, unless I'm, there wasn't any Versailles Treaty 
um, and it was a total Anton victory. So I'm surprised that Metz is. Well, it, it was a total Anton victory by Russia. The French and British didn't win. The Russians won. Yeah, Therefore, maybe. the stuff that happened was all in the east. Oh, nevertheless, I'll have a look at 35.22 just to be double sh sure. German Rhineland. The Rhineland is ceded to Germany. Remove the overlay. So it's as is. So you can't do that one either. Is not on there. So overlay eleven is this one. That's the Rhineland there. Eleven is Piedmont. Here it is. Here. So what it means is um, there, there could have been a case earlier on where the border was, sh was shifted where Turin is part of France, but it's not. So you can't do that one either. So you have to do one of the Africans. Sixty-six point sixty-two point two. Yeah, you can do the last one. They just get rid of that one hex. Something out of Tolia. The Siam marker in the map. It is. This event can be applied only if Siam is a minor country. It is a minor country. Uh, 62.2, Siam becomes a minor country. Um, oh, free site. Yeah, I'm reading the wrong one. Yeah, you can't do that one. I like a free Morocco. <laughs> no, Turkish Hatte probably sounds the least consequential. Okay, I'll take that off and I've got a shift and then control D. There we are. It's gone. So we've chosen. It's all prone to earthquakes anyway. That'd be nice. There could be some from Turkey listening to the video. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> Looks like we've done that. So now we roll on the 1930s economic table and I've rolled a three. Yeah. Great and I've rolled a six. Yep. That becomes a, a five. Yep. So now I need. Oh, is it tight? Sorry, guys. <laughs> yep, there it is. You must have been rolling high on the Spanish flu table, yeah. Russell. Um. <laughs> All right. No, I'm just starting it. 
Yep. What step are we up to? Uh, it's on the up, it, it's on the shared screen. So uh, so I've picked stability because that was the outcome of the 1930s. And it says roll with a plus one on the current Russian leadership. And the current Russian leadership is Bolshevik. Communists, really correct. So we go to the Communist Russia table. I'll bring that up so you can see it for the for the children at home. Yes, I can't see it. You can't see it. There it is. Nineteen nineteen revolution. Yeah, we got communist Russia up. Would you like me to double check? No, that, I think that's right. It was post war though, wasn't it? The, yep. Oh. Okay, roll the dice plus one. What do we get? Table one point two. The Russian civil war. Want me to roll the die? Uh, I've already, yeah, you can roll it. You can roll it this time. That's a three. Become, becomes a four. Let me just get a little highlighter. How boring. Right, now this is the really important one. Uh, I'm too scared to roll on this one. So this is the one. Roll? I, I yeah. haven't seen the table. Yes, roll, roll. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Roll it. The die roll was a four. Oh, excellent! You beauty! Break a war conditional events box. Um, I will put it here, but I'll show you what that looks like for the children at home. If I want, um, I want show hide access hand. Here we are. So this is the force pool. This is um, the conditional events box. So we're going to put so we're going to put a counter in here for Germany called prepared Germany. Okay. And I'll just make a record on the PowerPoint for that. Yes. So you've got to remember when you yes, go back, step 14. Not you would normally only get when the war has started, but going to the delay box, start already on the map. Yes. You guys want to give up yet? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to bring up the table, but I'll get a die roll before I do it, 2.17. Okay, Scott. Um, Scott, roll a good number here. I don't know what a good number is, but roll a 
I'm coming, coming back. Here we go. That's a two. Does this have a plus one or not? Okay, extra forces marker, uh, Western Miners, Greece, starts with a G, and I want the DOD, and it's called... Extra forces. Oh, I can't see that one. Uh, maybe it wasn't hasn't been updated in this. Well, you should get a zero one zero Salonica. Zero one. Uh, I can't see it. Okay. Uh, I I have it. I have the real one, but in this vassal module, which is yet to be updated, it does not. No, there's a Cyprus, Albania, Rhodes, Smyrna. Um, I'm just saying, use one of the ones you've got. Okay. Salonica, okay. There we are. It's right on the border. Oh, up here. Uh, okay. Uh, zero. They're all garrisons. No fortresses. Okay. 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 And in the PowerPoint, I just did. I make a note of that. Yes. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, so I want uh, SK ships for miners, Germany, Italy, UK, France, US, DOD, Soviet, SK marker. Hmm, don't seem to have... There's two ship markers at the bottom of that screen where you had it before. But... Yeah, here they are. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll just, I'll just take a picture of that and post it so it's in our record for the game so we don't mess it up. Okay. Um, I will duplicate that slide and we'll go to the next table which I believe is the pro proxy wars table which is what number is that? 218. All right Scott you want to do your, do your thing again? Rolling. Yep. Yes here we go. Three. Each result will name a trouble country. 
Let's, ha let's check. It is a neutral minor at the moment, yes? So step one, Foxy must designate another neutral minor country that shares a border with the tropical country. The second tropical country. Let's go back to the... So I think we're the proxy now. Let's go back to the proxy. Why are you the proxy? Because uh, it's our turn. Uh, if you read... Uh, if you go to page seven on your DOD, uh, uh, page six actually it talks about factions. Seven out the cricket. Hmm. I've got golf in the morning at six o'clock, and I'll have to stay up and watch cricket now. I'll be cactus. Um, <laughs> a particular faction may be specified by one to create an event. Occasionally, the event may call for a proxy faction event. In this case, the current proxy player applies that event and then passes the proxy marker to the other side. So we've got it at the moment. So. Russell? We've got a choice of Greece, Romania, Serbia, Romania, Greece. or Turkey. Um, was Turkey a, a minor? So the second step is uh, Russell, so you know what's going on. The new proxy, so pass the proxy player marker, then the next player. So you pick a minor. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's great. <laughs> I, uh, I'm so glad. I'm, I'm so glad Russell's making this decision. That's all I can say. Oh, please, Mark. Here, uh, yes, the audience have asked for the map. I'll zoom in. Thirteen point five. We we'll have to look up the rule. I'm going to give you the Greeks as a bloody ally. They're too big. So you, we, we've got to pick two. Hey. You have to pick two. Oh. No, we... no. One is picked by the thing. And then we pick which one is Axis and which one is ally. Which so, for example, if you pick Serbia, we could then say, okay, well, we'll take Bulgaria, and you can have Serbia. No, it's already been picked. If the, well, it's on the screen. Bulgaria is one of them. Bulgaria yeah, is one, one of them. And you pick the other. And we one pick the other one. The other, we then pick which one is allied and which one is Axis. Okay. And I'm saying I pick the Serbs. No, we can then say, okay, Bulgaria is allied and Serbia is Axis. <coughs> Yes, I know. I don't want you to be able to pick Greece as ally. Right? Yeah. If I can just, uh, if I, or Romania, if I can just give some guidance for the play, people who haven't played TKDS before, the hex is marked with severe borders, a victory point hexes, getting. Early on, when we're in pre-war, we have to try and get to Axis tied, which means we have to get uh, 
four or what is it? Let's have a, have a quick look. It's actually Axis Crusade at the moment because of Mets, because it's zero to one. We have to get to here, and then we have to flip it and get to here. So we need three Axis. So, um, and you and want to stop us. So I think that's probably the best selection you've made. <clears throat> so that's that's our selection. We have chosen this. Bulgaria and Serbia. So Scott, we now pick which country we want. Mm. What do you think? I would have thought Scott, Serbia. Yes. Probably end up getting Greece. Greece. Like I think Serbia and Greece is probably the worst. Yeah, where Bulgaria is sort of out. Yep, hold one second. Right. So, on the screen, I'll try and make it a bit bigger in a moment. Go the Serbs. Yeah, go the Serbs, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm probably going to have to disappear in a couple of moments. Uh, we don't have to, we don't have to, we, we don't have to finish. All right, so Allied Serbia, Axis, Bulgaria, and we've got to apply 13.5, right? I won't do that now, but I think 13.5 means we put the troops out. Um, 13.5. No, in the 13.5 in the combined rules, TK rules, Axis Empire's core rules, sorry. So it's sort of like a Spanish Civil War, only not. So we'll be able to play support national cards on them for sure. Thankfully all the mountains are on our side of the border. <laughs> Win predictor is India forty nine, Australia fifty one. <laughs> Australia will collapse. They've probably been paid paid a lot of money by the bookies already. Right. Okay. Next. okay, next is the Western preparation table with a plus one. You want me to roll? Uh, not yet, hold on. Two. Uh, yes, you may roll. Three. We might leave it there for tonight and look that up because that's, or we could just leave, we could go on rolling the tables and just come back to this decision, right? Say pending. Yep. How's that? No. I think we should. Let's. Yeah.
Yeah, because uh, we're going to get on to Asia. They got the shower table, the Chinese unification. I'm really hoping that we roll well on the Japanese adventurism and the Cyan incident. You haven't decided. I left that up to you. But you don't get many. I checked up the rule. You only get one card every time you change war status. So we're only going to get three cards each total in the whole game. Yeah. So I think we. You start with one. Then when you go from pre-war to war. You get another. You get another one, and when you go to total war, you get another one. <clears throat> On each map, I think. I'll have to look, re read it up though. All right, we can leave it there. So thanks very much. I thought it's going. It's going to be a very, very interesting World War Two. Well, you can stay. You can. That's a tactic. Stay in pre-war for a long time, right? Try and get to card six on the as the Germans. Um, with rolls, we're thinking of. Well, I'm thinking of that. Russell likes pushing counters and attacking, and I think Kevin does. I think I might take the role of strategy and politics. So I'll do the card picking and roll on the. And choose the on the uh, event tables, and be reserved if one of them's not there. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> or the other way to do it is Army, Air Force, Navy. Hey, look. Read what it says. The first sentence: complacency is rampant. You don't talk about it, you don't worry about it, <laughs> yeah. you just, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, see you. All right, <laughs> see you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. See ya.